Hey guys, I've got a really nice uh, video here about some new upgrades um, to the API. I've got Git Collision node underneath the camera, the active camera. Uh, not only will it get the node, um, it'll get not from the terrain only, but it'll also get any other node that the, the player will stand on. So you, from that you can get the name, and from the name you can you can link that to sounds. So. In other words, you can play sounds from the player walking over everything, anything actually. Um, also updated the plants interaction for terrain. So I've got two stage process. So you might have a large terrain with hundreds or thousands of plants. You don't want to be for looping over all of them every single time you need to check. So what I've got here is first update just to get the local plants. Uh, like every five seconds or something you can run that. It won't, won't really cost you anything in performance at all. And then whenever you're ready to play a sound just check get the closest plant sound this is all within copycube source code so it runs pretty quick um, yeah and on top of that I've also got a new um, a new uh, 3d sound node property called play speed you can change the play speed of any 3d sound node uh, so you've normally got things like just just the these ones you've normally just got pretty much that but I've added play speed into the uh, source code of copycube as well so that's pretty nice um, so I've created this dedicated uh, behavior um, to play terrain sounds from walking which is working before and then also plant interactions and also from whatever surface or other objects, non-terrain objects you're walking on, like boxes or whatever else as well. So you can have unlimited of all those things as much as you want. There's no limit. Um, hello. Okay, so we'll go. So okay, so we're going to the. This is the. Uh, you can download off itch.io. I'm actually giving this away for free. It's a. Uh, it's one of my high quality um, things I've been spending the last three days on. Uh, okay, so because it's not in the editor code, you need to run my compiled version, which is called RunGame.exe. That will open App.exe. Uh, so that's part. That's your normal game. So whatever normal copy cube level you want to run just call it app.ccb then save it as app.exe in the same directory as this and when you press run game.exe it'll run it with the new API that I've added uh, recently um, which is not yet in the editor which is all my updates actually since um, since uh, this year uh, and last year uh, now this debug here is this, is just a shortcut of this so all it is is uh, create a shortcut and then add within that at the end of it dash debug. So what that that allow debugging while you're running the game, so you can see messages and things like that. So this shortcut won't work on your computer because it's 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 relying on the exact target. So in other words, my myself downloads blah 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 blah. That'll be different on your computer. So I won't put the debug in there, but you can add it in yourself and run it easily that way. So I'll just show you how it's working. So I've got uh, normal train, normal train walking, and now I've got plant interactions as well. And it's extremely accurate. The previous method I was using was not that accurate. Uh, it was okay. But it had a lot of randomness into it uh, for, for various reasons. But this is extremely accurate. It, it, does, it doesn't ever play up. It, it does exactly as you'd expect it to work every time. So all the different plan effects can be lined up easily. And if you're walking slower, it'll change the pitch of the sound according to the the play speed so this is normal normal speed this will be see that slower speed slower pitch 
So if you're moving slower, it'll change the sound accordingly. So that's really cool. Uh, yeah, so that's pretty nice. And then on top of that, I've got boxes. So if, you, if you're walking on top of the plant there, it won't play the plant sound. So it'll only play the as expected. Um, so that's pr correct. So now we'll get up on a box. And then I'll get on the wood. So that's all working beautifully. Yeah, so it works really well. Um, I'll just show you the, the behavior for that. Um, yeah, so you've got local plants as well as all the terrain textures, you can have as many terrain textures as you want, or plants, it doesn't matter, it'll just pick them all up. Um, now, as normal, the only way that for the plant, for any of the sounds to work properly, is uh, in the terrain. The name of the textures, the last five characters must match the sound. So in this case, that one there, uh, index number one, you go zero, then one, here, it's dirty or well, it's dirt but I just call it dirty it's five characters and that has to be in this sounds folder so um, so there's um, there's dirt dirty there so five characters and then I've got three variations so underscore whatever number that's the variation so all of the sounds are matching three variations which I've set up in my terrain walk surfaces behavior so um, and there it is there, number of variations is three, the file formats OGG, you can use other ones if you want. Um, so what you need to set up, can link the behavior, uh, step length is how, how far the player moves before it plays the next step walk sound, uh, the player height is import very important to get that right, um, so it's the eye height if you like from the ground of the player, uh, I'll show you how to uh, calculate that soon in a minute. This is how often it runs every 200 milliseconds. The move speed needs to match the player first person shooter move speed there. Uh, the default sound, the default speed that is. Um, so and the minimum speed adjustment and maximum that's how the minimum maximum change or adjustment you want to play the speed slower or faster. Uh, according to the player movement speed, so it puts a limit on it. In other words, so it's not too slow, it's not too fast. Uh, so in other words, yeah, just download the. Uh, so you just, it's got to be linked to the camera. So you just put it, connect the terrain walk services, and then all you do is is link up the terrain. So select the terrain node. Select the. You got three. Uh, sound nodes, 3D sound nodes, one for walking normally, another one for any blending, so if you've got two texture blend in between two textures, which is what the terrain has, you can play both of them, it actually sounds a lot better if you play both of them uh, together, uh, and then also a plant sound effect node, so you could be walk, uh, the, the playing of the, 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 the plants is independent of the walking, uh, so yeah, that's why it's got a separate node. Um, Maximum volume, um, you can just change it to whatever, 90, 100, I've just put it for 70 for this reason. Now this is debugging when you're walking or for the plants or the player height. So the player height's important, I'll just tick on that for now. <coughs> Save it. So when I run this, this is creating the new app.exe. You, you wouldn't, don't run it here because by default it doesn't have the new technology. It says the update local plants is not defined. Well, because that's not in the, the current editor. This is the current editor code. So you need to run it. Go back to here. You need to run this here, run game.exe, and that then will run the updated app.exe that was just saved uh, you know, a few seconds ago. And this is the shortcut to run that with debugging. So, yeah, so create your own run game.debug uh, because this won't work on your computer, I don't think, because... Um, because the uh, the file location is, is different. Um, all right, so all right, so walking normally on the ground, it should give you the correct player height. 
There you go, it's 23. 23 exactly, pretty much. Yeah, so when you're on a flat surface, it'll give you the exact height. So that's 23, really. So just any flat surface doesn't matter. There you go. 23. So you just need to make sure that that's correctly put into the camera behavior. Play height 23. Just put that in there. Um, okay, so let's test out the debug walking. Um, yep, let's do that. So play it, so save the exe, exit out of it, and then go back and run the run game in debug mode. Okay, so now we're going to see the, all the different walking sounds. So you got the main ID. Uh, the main means the, the main walking sound. It, there may or may not be any blending of the texture. So when there's two textures connected together, see in the middle, there's that's actually blending of the two textures as it crosses over from one to the other. And that's when you can actually play both of them. So normally it's just the main ID only. Then it will give you the actual name of the <coughs> texture uh, that's linked to index zero um, and the variation that it's using. So it'll be a random variation, but it won't be the same as the previous one. It'll keep changing. And then it gives you the speed of the player for any um, any of the, the volume uh, pitch and speed changes uh, according to the player speed So and then the volume. So if I slow down, so normally it's about 35. If I slow down, that wasn't much. There you go, slow down a bit more. Speed 0.6, volume 20. So it's 60% in other words. I've got a limit on how slow it can play at, at the moment, but you can modify that to whatever you want. I've got it at 50%. Um, so it won't play any slower than 50%. Otherwise it sounds a little bit too slow. So normally it's 1 or 100% speed. There you go, that's the slower speed. And grass will also slow slower. Everything will play slower according to the speed of the player. There you go. Grass to speed 50%, volume 17. Yeah, works quite well. So it's picking up the metal. I'll show you how I got that to work. With three variations and then wood, or woody I've called it. Five characters, also five characters. For both terrain and non-terrain objects. Works quite well. It's got jumping sounds, so when you land it's a bit higher volume. Compared to walking. And that sort of thing, so that works pretty good. Um, okay, so I'll show you how I did the non-terrain objects. So I mentioned that the sounds have to be all five characters long, which is for both terrain and non-terrain um, objects, that's true. Now, to, to actually, so with the API, this one here gets get collision node. That picks up the, the, the closest collision node underneath the, the camera, the player camera. Um, uh, so, so if you're under, so if you're walking on boxes, it'll pick up the box node actually, which is a really cool, really nice um, new API. Because I was I was having a lot of trouble thinking, how am I going to, if I put down water on the surface of the terrain, how's it going to know when it interacts and and changes over from the terrain to the water surface? When, as we know, the water surface is a big like big um, a big 3D plane plane mesh, a big square. But you don't see the square because half of it's hidden underground. But that should distinguish between the two as you're walking across. So that'll look, that's really nice. So it doesn't only work with the train; it works with any object. It'll pick up the node of any object underneath the player. And from that, what I've done is... Um, so here... Uh, that's the train surface uh, get collision node so it needs the player height has to be correct otherwise the actual get collision node sometimes picks up the player itself so you don't want that so the player height is how high the visual view the camera if you like from the the bottom of the player as it hits the ground so so it picks up the node now the terrain 
different nodes on the train that's colliding with it doesn't actually have any names. So when it's um, so when it's uh, picking up the the collision with the terrain, the name will be blank. But any other object will have a name. You should have a name for it. So that means if if the name is not nothing, that means it's it's a non-terrain object you're walking on. So then I just pick up the first the first five characters. So here's the the metal objects I'm walking on. See, I know it's the first five characters. One, two, three, four, five, metal. Now, one, two, three, and four, that's just standard copy cube. If you copy and paste, make copies of it, it'll just add one to the end of it, always at the end of it. So that's why I've left that same format. I haven't, it's so, so the terrain is the, the, the last five characters of the texture, but non-terrain objects are the first five characters. That's the difference, so just, just understand that. Um, and then you'll be able to turn any object into a sounding object you can walk on uh, and it works really well actually um, so top of my behavior I'll just explain it here so the last five characters from train textures should match the sound name to play so obviously ignoring the underscore variation number one two or three and the first five characters are of non terrain objects should also match the sound to play so there's sounds metal there you go see the first five uh, well metal and then the other one wood I've just called it woody because that makes five characters one two three four five just easier that way and um, so woody there's woody those woody there so if you match them up it'll just automatically play the right sound for it which is super easy really cool even I was impressed I could actually get that working um, in the source code I didn't think I'd better do it uh, but yeah there was an existing function that uh, could could give you that information that I was able to access which is very nice um, super nice actually and so three walking uh, three walking sound effects 3d nodes the terrain and your camera and the the behavior that I've made has to link to the camera um, yeah Okay, so what else? That's debug. That's the debug walking. Let's debug the plants. I'll show you that. Um, I'll just so create the file, exit out of it, go back into here, and run it in debug mode. Okay. Okay, so now it's telling me the plant information. If you ever want to you know, test your level that you've got all the plants. Um, with the sounds working correctly as expected this is how you would do it uh, so it's telling me that the plan has been interacted it's got index 4 from the terrain textures um, so the fifth texture if you like uh, it's saying that the sound effect is called plant and the uh, variation is number 3 at 100 percent so yeah which is 30, a volume of 35 by default you can modify all that stuff how you like Okay, so as I interact with all the things, it'll yeah, A T C H two. That just that's just the five last f five characters of patch two. So it's just that that all lines up correctly that way. Now works pretty nice. Now if I walk a bit, so this is that's the normal normal sound. slower speed yeah which is cool so if you're crawling or crouching on the ground and you're going slower it'll change the pitch of the sound and the and the, the length of the sound which is really nice there's um yeah different speeds according to how fast the player moves that's that's 50 percent speed a bit hot faster yeah so that's 50% or just full, full speed yeah so that's pretty cool works really well it's very accurate obviously you can change some of these sound effects some of them it could be better that one there yeah, it could be better sound, but uh, I'll let you play around with that.
Um, yeah, so I'll just walk up to the top of the hill. You can hear all the. So that's the that's the combination of the grass and the the dirt sort of sound effect. And then the dirt only, and then the dirt and sand here, and then the sand only. So it switches over. It's quite works really well. So I mean that dirt sound effect is pretty pretty ordinary, not very really good, but um they're just for testing really. Um I'll let you get much better sound effects than that. Yeah. So it's got a reset. As soon as the player stops, it resets the, the distance that it will then start playing the next walk sound from. So it sounds right. Well, that works really good. Yeah, so that works on the whole very well, actually. This is sort of a almost like a professional level, close to it anyway of uh, quality I would say. It could just has a tiny little bit of tweaking maybe necessary but almost none. I spent like the last three days on it and then um, yeah working pretty good. Yeah um, so that won't I'll jump up here yep works pretty good works real good. You could make a full on game with uh, just all of that. Um, it's, it's quite nice actually. Yeah, so... Yeah, so that's one of my best uh, recent additions I would say. Um, variations OGGs, it's not a bad file format, it's compressed though, so every time it plays it does have to decompress, so there's a little slight delay there. Uh, if you don't want that, use WAV or something like that um, instead. Um, yeah, so I think it will auto adjust, I'm pretty sure, if you change the speed. So for whatever reason, say the play is moving really fast and you want it to update a bit more accurately when it's moving fast then you could up change it from one, 200 milliseconds to 100 milliseconds um, see if that should still work the same yeah auto adjusts still sounds the same yep so that's still fine yeah I think that's all exactly the same still. Let me just double check that. So I'll check the playing of the plant sounds. So. Yeah, still the same. Lowest uh, speed and volume. Yeah, it's all the same, yeah. Yep, so that works pretty well. Works real nice. Yeah, so you could make a nice a nice little game out of all that stuff if you wanted to. It's um I spent a lot of time tweaking it. Um but I am gonna give it away because I was gonna sell it for a dollar, but I thought well that's not a waste my time for a dollar. Um I'll just let you guys, if you feel like it, make a donation. It'll be on Ichio um, uh, website. Uh, if you feel you're happy with it and you like it, feel free to make a donation. Um, 
yeah so it's um it's all set up so that's index zero then one and then two the three textures but you can have as many textures in any order and this this behavior will still pick it all up correctly uh, no problem at all you can have as many different plants as you want as well um, yeah it works works really well um, yeah so uh, what else is there that's pretty much it for now um, I theoretically could create another API this only looks underneath the player I could create one in front of the player so if you hit the wall or something like that and, and different objects you could play different sound effects for that I could create one for that um, yeah otherwise that's pretty good so this update local plants only plays every five seconds it's all part of the behavior um, you don't have to add anything else in so um, on startup everything gets uh, set up and run properly um, so here's that um, update local plants plants the terrain gives you just get the player position it sends through uh, up to whatever range that you're looking at you could probably make that a bit small like a hundred from the a distance of a hundred units from the player um, it, either way it works just fine um, yeah so that needs to get updated as the play it really only updates needs to update as the player moves around but anyway that updates every five seconds uh, there um, yeah so it works works pretty good um, it's got falling impacts yeah um, terrain uh, terrain textures and plants non-terrain objects everything um, uh, it can all play quite well actually um, and then the, all the de debug modes so yeah so that's um pretty nice addition i think i spent a lot of time tweaking it it's pretty good to a good level now um let me know what you think about it um and uh i hear from your comments in the forum hopefully no worries cheers